Hello, I'm Brian with Workspace Admins. Today, we'll just show you quickly how to set up context aware access based on device OS versions. So the first thing that I would need to do or you need to do is to create an access level. So uh, this will define if the users will be granted access based on the condition of their access. So it's also a good practice to name it per attribute so that you know um, what policies are being enforced. So in this case, I'll just do condition I'll just name it like that for now. So I'll just give it a quick description. Admins video. I'll add an attribute here. So you have a few options here. So you can allow access based on user's IP address, based on user's country, based on a device policy or device operating system. And access level is the combination of any of the uh, conditions. So I will just do device OS. So there's a warning here that says, if you make any selections for device OS, users will only be able to access Google Workspace with those selected operating system. So I'll switch over to another tab here. So I have a few devices here. So these are mobile. So I'll just refresh this page. So I added a couple of devices here uh, right before this video. So I added a Pixel 3a, and I also added an iPad. So, But there seems to be a little bit of a, bit of a delay in getting that information pulled. So you can see that it's an iOS device, uh, but I cannot see the OS version just yet. But for Pixel 3a, you can see that it is running on Android 11, so we'll Switch over to the other tab. So these are the endpoints, so desktop devices that I use. So I have a few Windows devices and Chrome OS devices. So because we are enforcing the Chrome extension uh, endpoint verification, so that's how it's able to pull that information in. So we'll just go back to admin console here. So we'll specify that Android version is 11, oops. Specify that 11.0.0 is required and I'll just save. Now we'll assign an access level so I'm in a test org unit here. So I'm going to apply that access level to drive. So I'll just sign it. And then I'll assign that to both uh, desktop and mobile apps. So now that access level has been applied. So I have Google Drive, Google Drive here. So I had previously accessed, but I'm going to refresh this page. I'm currently on a Windows device. So you see that uh, I am denied access. So I'm going to now share screen from my Android device. And I will open Drive. And because I'm on Android 11, you can see that it works. And I'm going to stop. Switch over to the iPad, open drive again. And I don't have access because I'm only allowing access from Android 11.0. So I'm going to stop presenting and start presenting again on my Windows device. So now I'm going to change my access level. and add a few other attributes. So device OS, Windows, I'll just specify any version. And I'll also do device OS, iOS 11.0. 
this is any version as well. So now that the access level has been updated, so I'll just refresh the page here. Yep, so you can see that now that drive has loaded. Likewise, if I switch over to my iPad, and you can see I have access to drive again. So that's a context over access with device OS policy. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to Workspace Admins channel. Thanks. One final item to note when uh, enforcing context aware access policy, especially device or device OS based policies, is that it will only work if the context is coming from a Chrome browser with the endpoint verification in endpoint verification extension installed. So here I have Firefox on the left. I have incognito Chrome on the bottom left-hand side, and I am in my admin console, and I'll just load Google Drive in Chrome so that loads. However, I'll just verify that I'm in my Workspace Admins account and go to Drive. It's blocked because I am in Firefox and incognito window even though it is in Chrome because the extension is not running, uh, it's blocking my access. But from here, I'm able to load Google Drive because I'm using uh, Google Chrome with the extension installed.